Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Randy back with another fragrance video and that is my dog Lala. And so what I'm going to be talking about in this video today is a new series that I'm going to be starting every week and that is a buying guide. So my buying guides are going to take a look at a certain fragrance line that week and I'm going to go through the original from the line as well as any of the flankers and or the new releases and I am going to go through tell you all about each one note breakdowns projection longevity and then i'm going to tell you which one is the best for me at least and then also what those flankers or the original can be used for what time of year what time of day that type of stuff so in order to start this out i wanted to kick it off with a bang with probably the most popular fragrance line out there and that is blue de chanel all three of these bottles come in a 1.7 ounce, 3.4 ounce, and 5 ounce. Uh, this is the 3.4 ounce. The bottles, all of them look like this. Um, the, I believe the parfum is a little bit darker, but as far as the writing on them, the original or the Eau de Toilette looks like this with nothing written there, just the Blue de Chanel. The Eau de Parfum just adds the Eau de Parfum here, and the Parfum turns all of the letters into gold and puts Parfum right there. The cap is a magnetic cap. It's one that I really like. If you twist it, it just, it pops right up. And so it's a really cool cap. Really like the bottle. It's a heavy, nice glass, blue fluid. Again, it's the blue craze. It's the original blue fragrance. So the Eau de Toilette, the note breakdown on Fragrantica is top notes of grapefruit, lemon, mint, and pink pepper. Mid notes of ginger, nutmeg, jasmine, and iso e super. And the base notes are incense, vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, labdanum, and white musk. So as far as the performance, I'll get that out of the way first. Again, it projects pretty well for about three hours. It's not anything crazy, but it does project well for a blue type fragrance. You get about seven to seven and a half hours of wear on it, and it dies down to about a skin scent or a little bit more than a skin scent, but closer to the skin around four to four and a half hours. So this is a really, it's a really nice fragrance, but to me it is redundant. So with the notes that they give you there, you get, they give you that grapefruit, they give you that incense, they give you that ginger and the pink pepper, and really that's all you need to know from this fragrance because what they do give you, it's a really nice grapefruit incense mixture. And the grapefruit is not like a rindy grapefruit like you, if you've tried Dolce & Gabbana forever, it doesn't have that a rindy grapefruit that's like a candy grapefruit, really sweet, over the top. It's, it's not like that. This is more of the citrusy side of grapefruit that mixes with that lemon, gives you that citrusy opening, nice, fresh citrusy opening, and you get some of that mint and pink pepper, giving you a little bit of that spice in the top, but it's not too powerful. Once we get to the base, you are left with that grapefruit that has subsided, the incense starts to come out more, and you're left with a nice, fresh, semi-citrusy, smoky fragrance. It is an absolute beautiful fragrance. So as we move into the EDP here, the one that I have here, um, I feel it is the best in the line. The top notes here are grapefruit, lemon, mint, pink pepper, bergamot, aldehydes, and coriander. The mid notes are ginger, jasmine, nutmeg, and melon. The base notes are incense, amber, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, labdanum, and amberwood. It does project just a bit more instead of about almost arm's length. You're about arm's length now. Uh, you, again, you get eight to eight and a half hours of wear. Dies to a skin scent around four and a half to five hours. Uh, it's a really nice fragrance. What they did here was they, it's a true eau de parfum. They took that eau de toilette DNA they took that original grapefruit, that incense, that spicy, a little bit spicy opening, that smokiness, and they really smoothed out all the edges. They made everything just, they took it all and just made it better, made it crisper, made it smoother. And then they added this amber wood in there. And the amber wood makes the base or the dry down really nice, really warm, really just, it adds a really cool touch to the original fragrance which is why I feel like the EDT is a little bit redundant because the price difference in the three is about $15 to 
from each level. And so I feel like paying the extra $15 to get one that lasts an hour or so longer, that projects better, and that has this warm amber wood and smoothens out any of the little cracks that were in the uh, eau de toilette is what you get from the soda parfum. It's an absolute beautiful fragrance and it's a masterpiece, absolutely. The next one I wanted to get into is the Blue de Chanel Parfum. It's the newest in the line. And the top notes here are lemon zest, bergamot, mint, and I don't know how to say this, but Artemisia. The mid notes are lavender, pineapple, geranium, and green notes. And the base notes are sandalwood, cedar, amberwood, isoe super, and tonka bean. This one, the eau de parfum, again, I told you has the amberwood that came in there, gave it a little bit of a warmth to the original DNA, while the parfum took that and dialed it to 11. They add that amberwood, that cedar, that tonka bean, all heavy notes, all warm notes, that and aromatics, and they just threw them in there and they dialed them to 11. So what you get from this fragrance is you still get that DNA only in the opening. I don't sense it once we get to the dry down. And if it is there, it's in the background. But once you start to get to the mid into the dry down, that amberwood just comes up, takes over, tonka bean mixes in, gives it some warm creaminess. Then you get some of that cedar in there. So it is a woody, warm, ambery fragrance that is just absolutely amazing. It's the Parfum to me is not one that you should be wearing during the day. You can if you want, you can wear whatever you want. But the Parfum seems to be more of that, let's go out, I'm going out at night. It has those heavier notes. It has those notes that you would think it's like almost like a fall fragrance. Um, especially when you get down to that woody base, woody, ambery, sweet from that tonka bean. So to summarize this video, I just wanted to say that the Eau de Toilette is redundant in my eyes because the Eau de Parfum does everything the Eau de Toilette does, but better, makes it warmer, has that DNA, that grapefruit incense mixture in this entire line is next to none. It's fantastic. Um, this is the 3.4 ounce. To me, it's the best bang for your buck. They also have a 1.7 ounce and a five ounce. Uh, the projection and the longevity get better as the uh, you get a higher concentration. And then when you get to the Parfum, the reason I don't think it's as good as the Eau de Parfum is because of the versatility factor. I feel it, like it's a better night out fragrance, date night, it has that warmth, it has that woods. So it is a really good fragrance for what it does, but the Eau de Parfum to me, has just the best, best mixture here. It has great projection, great longevity. And not only that, but it can be worn pretty much any day, any month, any time of the year. Fantastic fragrance. That's Blue Day Chanel. If you guys like this type of content, you want me to continue this series, please like, comment, subscribe, whatever you need to do. And also hit, remember to hit that bell. I always forget to tell you guys, but if you could hit the bell so you get notifications quicker, that'd be great. But I'll talk to you guys on the next one.